hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl ari if you're new here welcome and if you've been here before welcome back i just want to start with the preface that this is my third time recording this video this is the third time first time okay because i wanted to do like a get ready with me chit chat type of thing so y'all wasn't just like sitting here watching me talk 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 but the first time i did it all right long story short i was trying like a new makeup routine i got like a new foundation because i don't use foundation but i want to try foundation and the first time i recorded it um that was the first time i tried it and i look past get ready and i wasn't posting that on youtube then the second time i tried it I got a new foundation and the beat came out good but my battery died so i'm like okay maybe i'm just not supposed to record it like this so we're just gonna sit and talk it's just no we're just we're just talking so um i just want to kind of touch on like january it is february 7th and yeah, i would have had this video last week but i just told you what happened but i just wanted to touch on january how january went and i feel like i never addressed on my channel like um new year's i just kind of dove into like new videos or whatever so yeah i just want to talk about that like i'm so good i gotta do this again like i was really talking my stuff the other time i recorded but um so yeah january it was it wasn't a bad month i mean january is never nothing for real um it didn't go by as slow as it usually does so that's a plus i guess my birthday of course came back on camp um god definitely has blessed me with some great things that i really don't feel like sharing um because that's between me and him you no know? but yeah speaking of god that's that was my number one goal on my resolution to like build and maintain my relationship with god so i have been reading my bible every day um i have been reading it on my phone though on the app um just because it's more attainable for me like yes i do sleep with my bible like right next to me right next to my bed but bro i feel like i don't even have to break it down like you get it like if you could go on your phone and do it you're gonna do that like if you know that you have to physically pick something up like when you wake up like that's gonna make it harder and discourage you i'm not justifying like using a um app because i feel like it makes you think less because you are still scrolling or whatever who here is this in the brush? I just bought. Oh my gosh. I have to spray that with lights on, bro. How you even use the brush, bro? You know the brush be having like the cover thing on it. How you using the brush, bro? Oh. Anyways. I've been reading my Bible every morning. I have read... Well, every morning, and I try to read it at night, but I do make sure to read it in the morning just in case I don't read it at night, you know? Like, because if I only read it at night, and I don't, like, if I fall asleep or I forget or something, then I just didn't read my Bible that day. So as soon as I wake up, because I know, like, I'm always going to grab my phone, just go right to that Bible app before anything else. Yeah. Um. So I read Philippians ephesians right now i'm reading ecclesiastes i think that's how you say it I've definitely read like one or two more i'm not gonna lie i don't remember what oh i read i don't know how you say it is it habakkuk habakkuk i don't know but anyways i that was the first one i started with because that's a, a book in the bible that talks about like you know god's gonna give you like your blessings at the appointed time it's never too early it's never too late so that's what i use stepping into the new year um because yeah i just need a little reminder and it was so good to know that it's literally in the bible like let me read y'all a little verse this is my my favorite verse from here it's habakkuk that sounds weird habakkuk 2 verse 2 Oh, it's talking about, like, writing down your goals and stuff. So it says, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Okay? That basically just said that what's meant for you is going to come to you. Like, you're never going to miss what's meant for you. 
um so write it down write down your goals like put it in the air like you know give it to god and i really love that because it really says like writing down your goals and writing down your aspirations like what you want to do it really helps and like just don't give up because it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen we may want stuff to happen right now and when it doesn't later on we see why it didn't and that's just the part where faith comes in knowing that we want something right now but trusting god enough to know that we don't we're not ready for it right now so i feel like that was the biggest thing god he be he be talking his talk okay so other than that i yeah so i'm back in the gym i went back to the gym it's been a little over it's been like a week and a half since i started going to the gym i've been going every other day there's been like one or two instances where i was like skipped a day like gone like maybe not gone to the gym in like two days but i have been consistent and speaking of that i'm so sore right now like i did my ab workouts for the first time like since i've been back um and i have not worked these muscles in a long time okay i'm pretty sure from the last time i went to the gym consistently which was <laughs> damn three years ago time is fake y'all time is so fake because no way that was 2021 that's crazy. It's dead 2024. That's crazy, bro. Time is fake, but we're dead living in the future. Like, imagine us, like, being in elementary school, middle school, talking about some 2024. That sounds so futuristic. But, anyways, so, yeah, I'm really sore. I didn't even use the machine either. That's the crazy part. I just did, like, you know, um, mountain climbers, plank twists and stuff, and I'm crazy sore. Um, I was supposed to go to the gym yesterday. Couldn't go. Sorry, I was supposed to go to the gym today. I didn't go. And Tuesday was my off day. Um, Hopefully, I can go tomorrow. Like, I'm trying to see right now. It still hurts. Not as bad as when, like, I first suffer or whatever. But it definitely still hurts. So, yeah, that's felt good. And I've actually had the motivation. Glory be to God. I really had the motivation to go, like... The most discouraging thing would be, like, the walk to go to the gym. But I'm starting to get used to it. I just, like, get up and do it, you know? The more I think about it, the less I want to go. And the more likely that I'm not going to go. So I've been just going. Um, I have been going in the morning before my class, like, 7.30-ish. And I like it because that's, that's the time most of the girls be there. Because, you know, later in the day, the guys be there and they be stinking. They be all over all the machines. And it's like, you know, you don't really want to work out in front of a bunch of guys. So I like to go in the morning. Then after that, I grab some breakfast and then, like, get ready for my day. Like, take a shower and get ready for classes. Um, I have been going to work. So I feel like my schedule has definitely been packed. But I'm not complaining about it at all. Because last semester I was complaining about like having nothing to do. Like besides class, I was always in my room. Like, well, like if I'm not in the library, in my room. I've been doing good with spending. Um, the biggest thing that my money has been going towards is food, which I don't hold against myself too much because I can't eat campus food every day, bro. It's actually disgusting. Like it's quite literally disgusting. Um. I really only eat it if I'm hungry, hungry, and I don't feel like figuring out something to eat. But this is bothering me. Like, how did I not see this, bro? Like, why do you look like that? Yeah, most of my money has been going to food. But I have been trying to chill out on that. Last time I did buy food, it's probably Saturday. Yeah, and today's Wednesday. That was the last time I bought food. And it wasn't even nothing crazy for real. So I'm proud of myself. I have been saving. Paying off my credit cards. I've been doing good, okay? I'm proud of myself. This is a really big step like, for me. Because I always find something to spend my money on. And honestly, like as an impulsive buyer, I'm feeling less of an impulse to buy. Because, you know, it, once you have money, it's just like, mm, I have it. This is cute. I'll buy it. And then after that, I don't touch it for, like, months. So I don't wear it for months, use it for months. And it's like, I didn't need to buy that right then and there. Because that money could have been to something that I needed at that moment. Feel me? 
so that's good and like i haven't been having the impulse like if like i don't i'm tired of spending money like the stuff don't even be worth it for real uh, i'll say this year's off to a good start um the only 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 thing that i could genuinely complain about is just my living situation i hate dormy <laughs> so bad and I really try not to think about it or talk about it too much because it just makes me even more frustrated. And it's like, there's nothing I could do about it right now. I just have to thug it out for this last semester. But never in my life again will I dorm. What? Sharing a room? Sharing a bathroom with six strangers, bro? Well, five other strangers? Well, five strangers because I'm not a stranger. But I hate it so much. I hate it so much. And the way I am, I'm very particular about my stuff. I know if you touch my stuff. If I leave it a certain way, I know if it's moved. Um, I don't bother people's stuff. Because it, one, it does not belong to me. Like, And if I didn't ask, why am I going to go touch your stuff? The bathroom, like, I'm fake, fake a germaphobe. Like... I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just, I'm very funny when it comes to certain things. Like, I'm very funny when it comes. I have a routine that I like to abide to. Like, bro, there'll be dirty forks on the um, bathroom counter. Like, food in the drain. Hair on the mirror. Like, bro, how hard is it to clean up after yourself? Conditioner all over the shower. Like, walls. Like, we're adults. We're adults. Like... And one thing about it, I'm going to leave it there. Like, unless it's truly getting in my way or, like, it's going to touch me, I leave it right there because I'm not about to clean after y'all like I'm the help. So I just really don't like my living situation. I'm sorry. This is so ghetto, y'all. But I have a sewing. And oh, I definitely have stuff in store for y'all. I don't really want to touch on that, and I have a video towards that. It is pertaining to Valentine's Day, but I have some stuff coming up for that. I'm so, so, so excited. That is for Saturday. So, yeah, just stay tuned. Y'all are going to see in the next video what I got planned for y'all. Well, not for y'all, but y'all going to see what I got planned. School has been okay hasn't been bad but i am getting tired of it pretty fast we're only like three full weeks in and i'm really tired of it i stopped going to one of, like if the attendance isn't mandatory it's getting to the point where i just stop going no and that's mainly for my psychology classes i go to all my business classes because i'm a double major in business and psychology so yes yeah, smart mommy okay other than that I mean, I did touch on food, but I just want to touch on, like, I've been trying to eat as clean as I can, being a college student that's dorming. Um, you know, I can't cook OD. If it can't be made in the air fryer or the little hot pot, I can't make it. So, I usually make either pasta or rice, and, like, I have salmon and shrimp. Um... So, yeah, but, like, you know, I don't want to make that every day because, one, I don't want to get tired of it, and, two, I don't want to finish my food, like, mad fast, you know? Like, I'm not about to eat salmon and shrimp every day. I've been drinking my kombucha. I love kombucha. It tastes so good to me. I really love it. I love it. I don't know what else. I've just been trying to, like, maintain, well, not even maintain, but, like, just build a healthy routine for myself, physically and mentally. Um, Just trying to watch, like, what I put in my body. I don't know. I have a very simple life. Like, I'm not into all the crazy stuff. I'm not into the rah-rah. I'm not with that extra stuff. You know, I'm a very simple girl. I just like to do what I have to do. Make sure I'm good mentally. Because if you're not good mentally, like, you can't be good in any other aspect. So I feel like that's definitely a really big thing for me. I really do hope, um, another of my biggest goals, like, well, I am going to do it, but content, like, I really want to get out there, and let me not even limit it to content, just, like, getting myself out there, like, socially, um, I have really big plans, I just don't like talking about it, so everybody can know what I'm up to, I, 
I'm sorry to admit it, but yeah, I like to be that mysterious girl. Like, you don't know what I got going on. I take great pride in being mysterious. I don't like telling my whole business. I like to pop out and be like, damn. But I do have stuff planned. Um, I've just been trying a lot of new things out of my comfort zone because I'm trying to be okay with being uncomfortable. Like, me being comfortable, like, has done nothing but, like, stagnate my growth. So, it's 2024, I'm 20, like, you know, it's time to make big girl moves. Like, I can't just be in the same place I was last year. That's the worst place to be. I know I won't be, but, like, my growth would be so much more rapid and effective if I actually put in the work to, like, get to where I want to be, you know? I think that's it. I know this was a pretty short video. I don't know how long I've been talking. Hopefully it's for, like, a little minute, but... Thank you guys for watching. I definitely do appreciate That's another thing I'm to touch on. I appreciate all the support. The growth has been slow, but I see the growth and I appreciate it. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all that watch my video, subscribe, comment, like, all of that. So, 2024, for the fifth time I'm saying it, I have a lot in store, okay? So, I will see y'all in the next video.